more snappy, more energy. Yeah. Just basically a bit more of that. What's up guys? I'm Tom Straker and welcome back to a bit of tasty business. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some braised beef cheeks, cream polenta and gremolata. It's gonna be three absolute bangers rolled into one beautiful dish, especially for this sort of like chilly time of year. I'm being kept warm. If you're worried about my short sleeves, my lovely fire. Now I'm gonna cut up all the, all the mirepoix. We've got shallots, garlic, carrots, leeks, celery, a couple of uh, different types of herbs. We've got rosemary and thyme. They just need to be cut roughly. We're gonna actually gonna strain off all the vegetables and we're just gonna reduce that beef stock into a sauce. And we've kept it nice and chunky and everyone likes a chunky monkey. <laughs> the rule with wine is always cook wine that you want to drink. Oh. Grill's nice and hot. You put a nice big cast iron pan. Whilst that's getting hot, we can sear off the beef cheeks. Nice salting. With a cut of meat that's used for braising, it's often a muscle that's been worked a lot on the animal. So this is obviously the cheek, the cow's chewing constant, almost constantly throughout its life. Very enjoyable when it's slow cooked properly, it's just like fork tender. You look at that, ooh, getting a nice, nice color on there. Touch of oil, let's get it going, getting all, all of the veg. Oil's nice and hot. We want to get a little bit of colour on the vegetables, which is then going to, that colour is going to go into the stock once we strain it off. So it's going to yield us a really nice dark sauce, which is what, I mean, it's what you want, isn't it? But we don't want to burn the vegetables. Always nice to put these garlic heads, garlic head down, because then they get super down like this. Right, so these beef cheeks are all, all seared off. I'm just gonna put them up here to rest until the mirepoix is ready. I mean, it's the season for these nice warming dishes and it's, just, you know, it's what gets us through the winter, the dark, the dark evenings, the dark mornings. Veg is cooked, sweated down. We got a little bit of color on there. Lovely, nice caramelization on the garlic. And then we're gonna go in with a tablespoon of tomato paste. Rosemary, thyme. And then we're gonna chuck a load of this uh, Cote de Rhone in there. We can just put the beef cheeks back over the top. Whilst the wine is cooking off, just nestle those on top of the veg. So this is something where the prep is the most important, like it's all about time. You can cook this, you know, you can cook the beef cheeks a few days before and have them just sitting in the fridge with all their lovely reduced stock. It's not something you need to cook on the day, but if you're cooking it on the day, get it on in the morning, cook it. It's a few hours of cooking time, but that you don't have to do anything in that time. You can just go and sit and watch the football or whatever you want to do. Going over the beef stock. I'm gonna make sure we're giving, making it so it's, you know, it's, it's covered there. Mate, that is looking good. Just bringing the stock up to the boil and then we're gonna put a cartouche on it to keep that liquid all in there and let it steam slowly. Cartouche, just, you need, just need a bit of greaseproof paper that's bigger than the pot. Fold it in half, in half again. And then on this corner point, fold it in half and half again, and then that'll do. All you, then all we need to do is just take the center point of the pot to the edge with your knife, slightly bigger. Voila. Obviously this wants to slow cook. If you're cooking it in a, in a home oven, it wants to be 130 degrees with a fan, and that's gonna take about three hours. I'm just gonna put it up the top, 
So that's good. We're going to be able to manage the temperature up there nicely. As you can see, it's now dark. Me and Rollo have been watching rugby all afternoon, and the beef cheeks are, are getting there. You know, it's been about it's been a few hours now, I think, and it's time to cook the polenta. We've got chicken stock, homemade chicken stock, homemade Rollo, homemade chicken stock, and we're going to bring that up to the boil on the fire, and we're going to tip in, whisk in the polenta. Okay, it's coarse ground polenta. So it's going to take a while, it takes about half an hour to cook and that's just going to form the base for our, for our beef cheeks to sit on. Get, this, get the stock nice and hot and then just whisk in, whisk in the polenta. And that every, just keep going back and giving it a stir every sort of like five minutes, just keep a, keep a good eye on it. So in the gremolata, we've got chopped parsley, grated garlic, lemon zest, lemon juice, and olive oil. Just check the cheeks. Just lift those out. Put them on this tray. Put a towel over the top and I'll just rest it. Rest that back on top there. They're going to stay nice and warm. You've got to be going to the gym for a bit to do this. <laughs> See that beautiful, all that stock smells amazing. A really nice, rich, clean sauce out of this. It's just going to look fantastic. That's basically. Okay, so that sauce just comes on here. It's going to sit, it's going to come up to the boil, it's going to reduce down, probably by about half, okay? That is cooked down to a nice consistency. The is nice and cooked, it's coming away from the sides really easily. All we do is we're going to add some butter. You'll see the texture change as it gets, as you, get, as you start getting the fat in there. So I've got some great, freshly grated Parmesan. Absolutely delightful. Okay, so now to plate up. I don't want stupid amounts of polenta. Beef. You can very easily make these in half. I think that looks pretty, pretty all right to me. Just gonna go on with a lovely bit of toasted Sourdough croutons over the top. It's got a lovely bit of texture. And we'll just go here with the gremolata. Got cream polenta, like four or five hour braised beef cheek, gremolata, and some sourdough croutons, olive oil croutons. Oh. I mean, it's just so soft. Mm. Just breaks away. I don't even need to saw through it. We started cooking in the morning, we finished in the night time. That's a good day of cooking for you. We burn a whole year's supply of wood, but we fucking love it. It's a symphony of flavors. And what we've done is we've, you know, we've taken a relatively cheap cut of meat. We've slow cooked it. We've given it lots of love, lots of cooking time. It's next level is fucking good shit, this. Jesus. No wonder I'm getting fat.